Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Happiness for Big B fans out there. He has been discharged from Mumbai's Nanavati Hospital where he was being treated for COVID-19. After a 23 days treatment on Sunday, Nishamita Bachchan gets discharged from hospital. The 77-year-old actor announced on July 11th that he had tested positive for the virus and was in the hospital with his son, actor Abhishek Bachchan. Big V through a tweet informed about the good news for his fans. While Abhishek Bachchan had to be kept under the observation in this hospital, the actor tweeted about it. Rajendra Prasad Shukla has been appointed as the Director of Finance at Western Coalfields Limited earlier. Shukla was serving as a General Manager in Southeastern Coalfields Limited at Bilaspur. BSc graduate Shukla is a cost accountant from the Institute of Cost Accountant of India. He also holds a Master's of Business Administration degree in International Finance from Indira Gandhi National Open University. He has a work experience of about 34 years in the mining and metal industry. Over the course of his career, he had handled Indian taxation, international audit, cost management, cost control and financial accounting. Although the rules set by the government are being violated by many liquor shops as they have begun selling liquor on the road, causing a nuisance. As the cases are on the rises in the city, this is one of the potential threats for all the citizens. The state government had given permission to home delivery liquor to the permit holders, but the people began going to the liquor shops and demanding one directly after which shopkeepers began to sell liquors on the roadside and the state excise department seems to ignore all the violating done by the shops owner and the people as no action has been taken by the authority yet. Nagpur Municipal Corporation has now made a mandatory rule to seek the permission of Nagpur Municipal Commissioner's permission if one has to start a shop or go down or any kind of business in the city. The rule has been applied under Section 376 of the Maharashtra Municipal Corporation Act 1949, which stipulated that certain things cannot be kept in the premises or building in the Nagpur Municipal Corporation area without the license issued by the Nagpur Municipal Commissioner. Thus, every entrepreneur dealer in the Nagpur Municipal Corporation area is requested to contact the Concerned Zonal Office of Nagpur Municipal Corporation and obtain the application form for obtaining the license. And if one is found guilty of violating the state provision, a penalty will be imposed on the person concerned and action will be taken under Section 376 of the Maharashtra Municipal Corporation Act 1949. The most powerful 12,000 horsepower rail locomotive made in India under Make in India will be maintained at Ajni. For this, preparations have started for the construction of a local depot. Madhepura Electric Local Factory has developed the country's first indigenous 12,000 horsepower rail engine. The engine is named WAG-12B. Currently, used locomotives are of 6,000 horsepower, whereas the WAG-12B is the twice the power of them. The total length of the engine is 39 meters. The driver cabin on either side of the engine are state-of-the-art and air-conditioned. This engine can run at a maximum speed of 120 km per hour. The engine can easily run a 5,200-ton freight train. The engine is also equipped with a GPS. With the help of GPS, the news of the engine will be available to the railways. CCTV cameras and microphones have also been installed in the engine. Separate Cupboards have also been made for storing goods here. Online Sanskrit Mahasa is being organized by the Extension Service Board of Kavikul Guru Sanskrit University in the wake of the Corona epidemic. This festival is being conducted in a more attractive and new form. This festival is to be inaugurated by the Governor of Maharashtra, Bhagat Singh Koshyari. The Governor has been in a Nagpur city for a few days. Also, other nearby cities and Covid are reviewing the premises. On Sunday, Corona blasted in the city with 235 new cases, due to which this figure has reached 5,897. Also, with 13 more patients succumbed in the day, the fatality count has gone up to 152. These all positive cases were reported from various hospitals, IGGMC, GMC, EMS, Niri Mapsu, Private Lab, Antigen and other test centers. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, please stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Pratnakar says goodbye. On the occasion of Raksha Bandhan, we wish you all happy Raksha Bandhan.